Hey guys, it's me Maddie, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to study because for those of you that don't know me, I can't concentrate on anything. Like, I will get off topic so fast, it's really a big problem. So anyway, I'm just going to be helping you guys out with some tips. This is kind of what it looks like when I try to study. We're not going to do history, I don't know history. Bio. Right, we got vocab. What does rampant mean? Ooh, Ooh no. Ooh. My room is such a mess right now, I should really clean it up. Organize it in there. Nice, the pillows are in the wrong position. Oh, what is going on in here? What is there we go, that looks nice. What the Christmas? That is not the season. Gotta shake that. Gotta shake that. Got some that off. Got this X ball all over my head now. Oh! Text message? I mean, this is still not coming off. I don't know. Gotta think of a nice message to go on there. You know, don't judge me. I've had this song stuck in my head all day. I'm not even ashamed. Maybe I should paint my nails. Ooh. Need to buy some more nail polish. Oh my! Look at this ring, that is so cute. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like when I try to study. So now, I'm gonna give you guys some of the ways that I can stay focused while studying. I am one of those people that really, really likes TV shows. So, okay, well, who isn't one of those people? Anyway, what I'll do is I'll, like, okay, let's get through a page of what we're supposed to look at, like a study guide. So let's get through a page, and if we answer every question correctly, we as in myself, then I get to watch one episode of a TV show. That's a really good way to study, but, um, but then the TV show comes on, and then you just keep watching it, and sometimes you forget to go back to the paper. But if you are strict, then this method... Is good for you, but you gotta be strict with yourself because if you're not strict with yourself, it's not gonna work. So option number two of how I study, this is for those of you that have just like no attention span at all. That's me right here. I have to reward myself a lot or else I'll lose interest. Usually I will study with candy or my phone or something and there's something always distracting me. So I say I will answer one question correctly and then I get to eat a candy or then I get to text someone back. I don't know. So just something like that no matter what, like whatever I'm doing but I have to answer one question, do something quick like eat a candy and then next question, get it correct, eat a candy. If you don't get it correct, I get really frustrated. Sometimes I throw myself across the room but that's not really what we're talking about today. So an example of this would be I got my icebreakers because I'm all out of gummy bears. So, this would be an example. Inopportune. Coming at a bad time. A synonym is inappropriate. Correct. Next question. Musty. Stale, moldy, and out of date. That's correct. Officious. I don't know. I don't. Oh. I want the candy. Okay. I, I don't know. I can't. Go back. So the third way that I study, this is going to be basically if 
you're like me and you always have a song stuck in your head. And even when you're taking the test, you're trying to concentrate, but you have the song stuck in your head. So what I'll do is I will put words that I'm studying into the song. Because everyone can remember song lyrics. Like, I can remember song lyrics, like, done, memorized. So I remember one time I did this for bio to the song Same Old Love by Selena Gomez. And it actually worked. I would sing a few, but I forgot it now. That bio test was way at the beginning of the year. Um, but one time I had to remember vocab words for English, and they were all the verbs, so I just like, put them on the song, and I was like, each one, neither, neither, anybody, anyone, anything, like so on, just all the verbs that we had to memorize. So yeah, that actually works. That's a good way to study. The fourth way that I have for you, I did it again. I held up three for four. Okay, the fourth way I have for you guys to study is to work with a friend but if this is like someone that's actually gonna distract you then you probably shouldn't do it sometimes I'm just incapable of studying alone so I need to talk to like a friend in the same class or who's taking the same class and they can like help me study and they'll like quiz me with no cards and stuff no cards are a good way to study but if you get off topic you know you got to do one of the first three things or the fourth so yeah talking with a friend can really help you study because they will yell at you if you get off task. Do not go with someone who will get off task with you because I have done that and the test results were not great. Moving on. So remember what you can do. You can, number one, if you are like really obsessed with a TV show right now, study one page and then watch a TV show or one page and use your phone for like 10 minutes. Number two, if you don't have that good of an attention span, you answer one question, get a candy. Works out great. Number three, put your study material into a song. Like put questions and answers and stuff into the song. And then sing it during the test and you have all the answers because it's the song's lyrics that you made up. Number four, study with a friend who will not distract you. And number five, if you are watching this video right now because you're distracting yourself from studying, then start studying. This is not going to help you because I don't know what's on your test, but maybe one of the tips that I gave will. So in that case, keep watching. Anyway guys, so for everyone watching, good luck on your next test. I pray you get an A. You need to let it go. You need to let it go.